Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, this, this is another bed bug video and I'm creating this video because I'm getting asked also, how do you apply the powder? So I'm gonna try and do a little demonstration of ways to, um, of how the, I applied the powder and how I still do. Even though I don't have bed bugs anymore, I still use the powder, I still use the alcohol, I still, I'm doing preventive measures, put it that way, to make sure they don't ever come back. Or if they do, they'll be killed before I even see them. Um, because there's always a chance of you getting them again. But anyway, um, to apply the powder, um, I'm going to insert some pictures because I have some things that I can't find, something that I can't find, but you can use a cup. You can use a cup to like pour it down. You can use an applicator to like squirt it out. Now, they have diatomaceous surf that come in bottles similar to this that have the nozzle. It get a little clogged at times because it's powder. Sometimes it comes out in a, a big pool. Sometimes it come out very light like you need it. But however, if it come out in like a big spurt, that's what the brushes are for. And uh, let's see outside of i'm gonna insert the applicator that came with my diet to make yourself the bag that i bought i don't see that it comes with the applicators anymore because i have a bag of powder here and it didn't this bag did not come with this applicator that i'm about to show you guys but when i bought my very first bag of diet to make yourself like back in the end of 2018 because that's when i had them it was like the end for, it was, I, I, I believe it was 2018 i keep saying 2019 but it was close to 2019 but it was like for the very end of 2018 um so yeah but that's the Dr. Mitchell's powder that I buy, the one I just showed you. And this is a picture of the bag of Dr. Mitchell's Earth that I ordered from Amazon that came with an um, a applicator. It was called a powder duster. So this is a picture of that. Also, um, you can use paint brushes. A pitch of paint brushes. You can use a scrub brushes, pitch of scrub brushes. Um, you can use a broom. Uh, and that's about what I've used. You know, those are the things that I use to put the powder down. Okay, also, I ordered these masks from Amazon. They're just little masks like they were in the hospital. I ordered these. I ordered like a 100 of these. Sometimes I doubled them. Because when, when you're putting the powder down, sometimes the powder can become, the room can become cloudy. It, it just happens sometimes, especially when you first using it because you don't really know how to use it. And when you had the buzz, you just trying to get everything done and taken care of. So sometimes it, it ends up in a little dust cloud and you don't want to breathe it in. Even though the diatomaceous surface food grade and it's not really harmful to us, it's not harmful to us at all, the powder could be. It could be if you breathe in it, it must with your lungs. That's just like regular dust. We live around regular dust every day, but if we're cleaning our homes and it get a little too dusty, then it, 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 it messes with us. It messes with our throat, it messes with our nose. Excuse me, things of that nature, it messes with us. So you don't want to breathe it in just like you don't want to breathe in a whole bunch of dust. So that's what these are for. Also, you can always open your windows for ventilation just in case my skin keep peeling on my lips. Excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, for ventilation, you can open your windows. I had to open mine. When I very first used the powder, I kid you not, my room was a, my son's room, my youngest son room, that's where I started, was a big cloud of dust. And we are asthmatics, um, me and all three of my children. Two of my kids was living with me at the time, but 
I had told my youngest son, just go ahead and leave out the room and shut the door. I'll stay in and, and finish it up, which I did. Opened the window and I was fine. You know, I, I doubled the mask because I had it really smoky and cloudy in there from the powder. And I, I came out to be fine. That was back in 2018-19. It's now 2023. So sometimes, some of the things that people say about um, the powder and this and that, it, it, it scares you. It really does scares you. Just think of it as as you're cleaning your house and you have a lot of dust in your house and you breathe in the dust and you coughing and, and sneezing and everything. Then all you do, you just leave that area and go get you some water and, you know, breathe some air. You might go stand outside, um, open the window and just breathe a little air and get yourself together. Then you go back at cleaning or whatever. That's the same thing with the powder. You don't want to ingest it and breathe it in because it's just like dust and it will affect you just like dust. So, um, yeah, even if you get a lot of powder in and it's a cloud of dust, open the window and even leave out and let it settle. And after a while, you'll get the hang of it because anything new, we don't always do it the way they say do it, you know? So anyway, on to the next step. I'm gonna um, use a towel. I'm gonna use a towel for just applying the powder. And I don't have any paint brushes or anything out here. I have one little brush. Okay, so I'm going to use this as my applicator because I don't want to, I, I don't want to put powder in these things because I'm going to use them for something different. But look at this, like this is the edge of your wall, like the carpet, like that's the edge of your wall. And Powder. This powder is very messy. It falls everywhere, everywhere. It gets, it's just very messy. But anyway, you might, you want to get it, you want to have it like a certain amount of inches away from your wall. And even if you have to clunk it up like that, going across the wall or whatever, for whatever you use, whether it be a cup or whatever, You go. You take your brush and you just you're gonna brush it into whatever you're using, and you want to have it a little further away, coming from the wall. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's try to turn it this way. And as you're wiping it, it it it, it, it lets off a dust, a light dust. But you don't, because you don't want to have it chalky like this. You don't want it like that. You don't want it chalky. You're going to use that broom, paintbrush, um, or whatever. Paintbrush or scrub brush, and you're going to dust it down into the fibers of your mattress, the fibers of the carpet. And as you're doing it, you're going to see little dust fly out and as it does fly out it's going to fall back and land the cello in it anyway because you you don't want it right at the very corners of the wall you want it at the corner of the wall and you want it to extend out some you want it to extend out because you want that powder you want it you don't just want it right there. They don't, that don't mean, most of the time they walk in a straight line and they walk as close to the um, wall as possible, but sometimes they might come out a little bit, you know, and then on top of that other bugs that may be in your cupboard. But for the most part, you want that light dusting. And this, cause now where it's set now, it's on the surface. It's on the surface and it's down into the fibers. And that's basically um, how you insert the powder. And you do this all along the walls of your home, all along the walls, um, the living room, the dining room, the bedrooms, the hall, all along the walls, the, cro the corners of the wall, the angles, everywhere. Because at every wall you have that angle. And uh, you see the powder better on this because this is a dark color. Most of our carpets are like a beige color, that light beige color, things like that. So you don't see, you won't see the powder as good as you see it on this. But it doesn't matter if your carpet is this color, 
and it's just something that you have to deal with. You won't really see it because you got furniture and things. But for the most part, that's how you need to put it down. And like I said, you can use the cup, the applicator, or the applicator, or whatever you have to just get it down. Just make sure when you put it down, you kind of dust it in if it has if it comes out clunky like that. If it comes out clunky like this, you just And you do it lightly. You're not brushing, brushing. You just do it lightly and get it down into the fibers. And there you have it. Um, do that everywhere in the house, even on your bed. If you get it, put it on your mattress, you do the same thing. So there you have it. That's how you, um, that's how I um, applied my powder. It's not hard at all, guys. And I understand that people who have bed bugs and, and realizing it now and just want to find a solution to get rid of them. I understand that you want to know every everything step by step because you just want to make sure that you're doing everything right to get rid of them. Trust me, I understand because I've been there. So um, I hope that this um, video helped in some kind of way and I hope it helped you to understand that um, you don't have to do everything in a perfect, you don't have to do this in a perfect way. There is no perfect way. Just apply it and do it as, do it, do it, this, do it as I said, um, and you should be fine. You should be fine. Um, one thing, another thing about these bugs is they are very, well, I, they can hibernate, put it that way. They can go and stay away for like a month where you don't even sell at all because they can, they don't have to feed all the, all the time, which sometimes if they can, I was getting bit almost every single night, almost every single night, but not when I had them, I was getting bit every night. They didn't skip a night on me. And once I started getting rid of them and they stopped, they just stopped. But before that, every night I was getting bit. So... Sometimes they go and they hide and they stay hidden for a while and you think that they're gone, like you don't have them anymore. So I would just say anybody who ever end up with bed bugs, never stop treating, never stop treating. Just make it a habit. Just like cleaning your home, just make it a habit of putting the powder down. You don't have to put it down as much when you, uh, you, when you get rid of them or when you feel like they're not there anymore. You do it like once a month, once every two months, however, however much time you feel like you need to do it. Just do it. Keep that powder down and keep doing this, the same regimen, just not nowhere near as much as you're doing it now. That's like I said, a preventive measure. Just in case they happen to find their way back into your home again through traveling with somebody else or through your um wall outlets if you're in an apartment or assistant you know a living or any type of building structure where other units are in that um area in that particular area where you are because they, they these these bugs are very very seem like they smart as heck it's like they're smart as heck but because they know how to um they know how to protect themselves they know how to hide and all of that they know how to stay unseen and everything so it took me a while to catch to actually see one but that's because i was up all night i was standing up all night i was determined that i was gonna see what it was biting me and i was determined that i'm gonna get, we were gonna catch one yeah but anyway guys i hope this video again i hope this video was helpful and um if you have any questions comment below and i will ask them to the best of my abilities thanks again for watching and see you on the next one Oh, I'm sorry. This video, um, well, no, I'm not going to um, dedicate this video to no one particular because I get asked a lot about this question. So thanks for tuning in, guys. See you on the next one.